So my wife Yiling and I first encountered uh, St. Paul St. Andrews about a decade ago when the f previous church we attended needed a space to meet in. Uh, prior to that, we had been meeting in a school, so I felt a sense of comfort actually when walking into an actual church building. Um, later, after our first daughter Macy was born, uh, we moved into the neighborhood and uh, you know, we became even more familiar with the church, witnessing the great amount of work uh, being done by, you know, Westside Campaign Against Hunger, we attended concerts that were uh, held here at the church, we even got caught up in the Palm Sunday procession once. <laughs> uh, that was my first encounter with Pastor Lee's um, infectious smile and just joyous spirit as she handed me a palm <laughs> while a real live donkey walked on the sidewalk. And I thought I saw everything in New York at that point. Uh, it wasn't until we started coming uh, for Sunday services last summer, however, that we truly experience what a beautiful, active, and impactful community uh, that SPSA is. Uh, some of you may have seen, you know, amongst other, lots of stuff going on this week, but ongoing press coverage of the Daniel Penny um, trial, and I was reminded of one of the early sermons we heard from uh, where Pastor Kay asked us in the aftermath of Jordan Neely's death, you know, whose coats do we hold on to? What acts of horror do we support and enable by what we say or fail to say what we do or fail to do. And it was the type of challenge from the pulpit which showed me that this community was serious about internal and external change and willing to ask hard questions. Uh, I then turned to the back page of the bulletin where I was regularly blown away as we just all saw by the amount of activity happening here and uh, you know, elsewhere virtually and in person Everything from homework help to Souls in Solidarity, of course, Miracle Mondays and the packing that happens on Sundays, and Faith and Fun Fridays, where our daughters get to spend time with the person they lovingly call Miss Nancy. Um, it feels easier than ever today to be disconnected from one another, yet the need for love in action is greater than ever. I'm great grateful for how SPSA actively creates space physical or otherwise, to welcome in anyone who desires connection. As we look to the, what the future may hold, we need more than ever to act with a love that meets the description in Romans 12. Joyful in hope, patient in affliction, faithful in prayer, and practicing hospitality. I'm grateful to be able to, be, uh, to contribute to and be part of a community like SPSA that does exactly that. And I'd encourage you, if you haven't already done so, to make your pledge to support everything going on at SPSA. Thank you.